This is New Amsterdam Vape, and in this video, I'll review the OBS Engine Nano RTA. The Engine Nano is a single coil, rebuildable tank atomizer that features a top airflow design to help prevent leaking, as well as a very large liquid capacity. The Engine Nano is 25 millimeters in diameter, with a height of 40 millimeters from the bottom of the deck to the top of the tank. The drip tip is 10 millimeters making the overall height 50 millimeters. The liquid capacity of the Engine Nano is 5.3 milliliters. The tank breaks down into the deck, the chamber, the glass chamber, the chimney, and the drip tip. The Engine Nano also comes with a sheet of organic cotton, a spare glass, an Allen key with spare screws, a pre-built Clapton coil, and spare O-rings. Looking at the Engine Nano up close, it's definitely larger than the Nano name implies. There's three airflow holes on the top with an adjustable airflow ring that spins freely. The Delrin drip tip is a 510 drip tip that's held in place by two O-rings. The pin on the 510 connection is not adjustable, and it's recessed quite a bit, so this is not a tank to use with a hybrid mechanical mod. Like other tanks from OBS, the Engine Nano features a liquid filling slot on the top side with a cover that pulls up. The filling slot is fairly large, allowing use of a glass dripper or regular unicorn bottle to fill the tank. The tank was a bit difficult to disassemble when I first tried opening, giving me some scratches on my finger. The chimney can be unscrewed from the chamber and the deck, though the profile is quite low to get a good grip on each piece. The glass is held between the chimney and the chamber with two O-rings to keep a tight seal. The chamber removes from the deck fairly easily once the chimney is off. Looking at the deck up close, you can see it has two posts with one post hole in each post. There's a peak insulator encasing the positive post. The post holes are fairly large and allow for most any gauge wire to fit. This deck is designed specifically for single coil use, which is nice compared to how many dual coil tanks are on the market. There's two large wicking slots that feed into the area under the tank. This allows the liquid to go directly under the tank and gets pushed up into the wicks. There's two notches on the deck that allow it to connect with the chimney. These notches help align the airflow holes in the chimney with the coil. There's two airflow holes in the chimney, one large one for the front of the coil, and a smaller one that goes behind the coil. The inner portion of the chimney spins freely, making it easy to align the notches and assemble the tank. Building on the deck of the Engine Nano is very easy. The post holes are offset, which accounts for the way the leads of the coils align, so the coil can sit properly. I'm using the Clapton coil that came with the Engine Nano, which has fairly wide leads that fit easily into the post holes. Using the Allen key, tighten the screw to get the coil to fit in place, then using a screwdriver to help align the coil. The leads are very large on this coil, and they're not easy to remove by spinning around, so they'll need to be clipped off. Giving the coil a test fire, you can see the coil start to change color. Give it a few test pulses to get it primed before wicking, then use a screwdriver to help align it. If the coil has some hot spots, you may want to use some ceramic tweezers to help tweak the coil a bit and get it glowing evenly. This coil reads at about 0.2 ohms, which I think is pretty low for an RTA, but I'll give it a shot anyway. For the wick, cut a piece of the organic cotton sheet that's about 5 millimeters in width Twist up the cotton nice and tight, then pull the cotton through the coil, finding a nice snug spot that's not too tight or too loose. Cut the wicks, leaving some extra length on each side to work your way down. Add liquid to the wicks and let them absorb the liquid so they're easier to work with. I like to flatten the wicks with tweezers, then cut off the corners to make a pointed shape that will fit down into the wicking slots. I have a bunch of liquid sitting below the tank, so I'll do some test fires to make sure the wicks are properly absorbing that liquid and moving it up to the coil. Place on the rest of the tank, aligning the chimney with the deck. To fill the tank, just pull up the cover on the top. This tank holds a lot of liquid, so it takes a bit of time to fill up. With the tank filled and ready to go, I like to let it rest for just a few minutes before using to let the wicks start soaking up the liquid from inside the tank. I tested the Engine Nano with the included Clapton coil, which read around 0.2 ohms. I tested this between 30 to 50 watts, but liked it best around 40 watts. With the Clapton coil, the vapor was very warm and there was plenty of cloud production, 
though very little flavor. While the Clapton coil was nice and helped the engine nano perform like a dripper, it was too warm for my liking. I changed the coil to a simple spaced coil that read around 0.6 ohms and used this around 30 watts, which suits my preferences for tanks. I found the overall performance to be much better to my liking. I know some people will prefer the Clapton coil and cloud production, but I like my single coil builds to be simple at a lower wattage. The Engine Nano can handle a lower build, but I like to keep things simple. Moving on to the pros and cons. As a pro, the Engine Nano is a great single coil sub-ohm tank. If you're looking for a tank that can perform like an RDA, then this tank can provide that experience. But the Engine Nano is also versatile enough for single coil builds. The large liquid capacity is very nice. I can vape with this tank a long time before having to refill, which I've gotten very accustomed to with my other tanks. I do find it interesting they call this a Nano, though it's a big tank. The price is another pro. You can get the Engine Nano for around $30, which is a great deal for the single coil RTA. Remember, you can get 15% off at heavengifts.com when you use the coupon code ANEWAMSTERDAM. Moving on to the cons. This tank is difficult to disassemble. When I first tried opening it, I ended up slicing my fingers a bit. With the cover on the liquid slot on the top and the small profile of the chamber on the bottom, it's very difficult to get a proper grip to take this tank apart. Once I finally got it apart and washed out the tank, it was a bit easier to work with, though it was still a pain to open sometimes. There's very little flavor with this tank, especially with the included Clapton coil. There's plenty of airflow, which drowns out the flavor for me. I was getting better flavor with a higher resistance build at a lower wattage, but for a single coil tank, this just wasn't doing it for me. Another issue with the Clapton coil was the heat. This tank gets very, very hot using the 0.2 ohm Clapton coil. At about 40 to 50 watts, the tank would get extremely hot to the touch and would need long periods to rest. I didn't have this issue as much with my spaced coil at a lower wattage. Overall, the Engine Nano is a nice, single coil, rebuildable tank. I like the design of the airflow and the deck, and the large liquid capacity works really well to vape for long periods of time. The nicest thing about this tank I noticed was the lack of leaking due to the airflow design. With all of my bottom airflow tanks, I always keep a napkin to wipe away any leaking but I have not had this issue with the Engine Nano at all. This is New Amsterdam Vape, and if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.